Time for pathways now. So what I've done is I've gone with a Stanley knife blade along the edge of where I want my pathway to be. Here, this is the first bit. Okay. And then I've taken a wood chisel, a very blunt wood chisel, and I've scraped away. Obviously, it's easier to do it before you put the grass on, put the grass over and brush it off. But you know that's not the way I've done it because I didn't know exactly where I was going to position stuff. For example, this is going to be positioned there. So. That's my path. So there's going to be another path coming along here and then across. So scraping that away, that's going to be a bit smoother and a slightly lower level. And then that's going to have some more magic done to it. Now that's a bit more indicative now. You can see that better, can't we? Oh, of course we can. Of course we can. There we go. So I've cut and flattened sort of dug out with my chisel, a hard standing and pathway for the bridge. The bridge goes to another pathway which goes around to the back of the station. There's a hard standing there for the water tower. I've filled, backfilled with sand just because I've had to cut away there. Uh, so there's a bit of a hillock. I've cut in a pathway there to so that little station. The hard standing there for the signal box. Move that out of the way, so I'm about to start painting blue in there. And there's another hard standing for that signal box. So we're now ready. This, this, this basically, this is the final bit, man. The final bit. Well, well, looky here. So I've finished applying the paint and PVA mix and uh, dropped all the sand on. So I'll let the sand soak in and stick and then I'll get the hoover over that and we'll be away. It'll be just a quick wash of grey brown and we're done, but it's really looking good now. What I have added that you haven't seen before, ignore all these buildings on the top here, oh, I found some trees, some little old trees. I didn't like them very much. They're a bit shorter than the ones I've got on the other layout, so I didn't use them, but uh, we think work okay there. They break that patch up a little bit more. All is looking great. Scissors. Mm. Had to had to trim my bush. You know, a bit of a bit of a problem with um, my bikini line, as it were. So I've cut I've cut a bikini. <laughs> That's a good name. That's what I'm going to call this actually now. I'm going to call it the bikini line. So uh, just checking the the engines running round the layout and I have encroachment on my bikini line from my bush <laughs> so I've clipped a fair bit of my bush now you know clip my bush there clip my bush there clip my bush there clip my bush there so now that can go into the recovery pile and that should pull. This station needs to be pushed backwards. Oh, no, no, look, look, more, more needs to come out. Oh, dear me. Terrible, isn't it? Terrible. Trim that bikini line. <laughs> that's it, that's what's gonna be known as from now on, the bikini line. Right, okay, work that out. So this, this platform has to go back, like I said. Now I had to do that on this one. So what I did, because this is spongy and rubbery and it pushes it back. So what I've done, I've put three track pins there. You can just see one of them there. Just to hold it from, from coming too far forward. That should work because I don't want to actually stick down the platform because this needs to go away from time to time. Look at that, there we go. There we go, that's all right, so that's, oh, got a bit here, got a bit here to go. You get the idea, so that's the thing, because this stuff goes on, looks great, you press it down, you get it all looking good, but obviously being sort of like a rubbery kind of texture, or well, it's not rubber, it's a naturally occurring plant, um, but being sort of like a springy rubbery texture, pops itself out so there we go
My hard standings are done and complete and dry. There's that one. I've uh, done the same here where the water crane is. So that's now positioned in. And over here, my track obviously. And coming over, this is all done with a nice colour wash again. And my roadway and the signal box. So that's it, that's all done and dusted. Well, that area was looking just a little bit too big and too open and I really couldn't work out what to do with it. Um, I got myself a couple of these Oxford die cast OA gauge whizzy things, can't remember what they're called. Mechanical horse, something like that. But they just look tiny, they look totally wrong, totally out of scale. Um, I know they're not 1981, but they were for playing with after I've done that video. Um, so what I've done, I've put in some more ground foam grass there and along the side here and basically reduced the size and scale of my goods yard. And that's looking better. What I do need to do though is come up with some cargo stuff really to break up that area. And I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know, I could, I could uh, come out like that and down there, I don't know. Um, no, it's nice having a large expanse, it's not too large now. Maybe I'll, I'll just, just come out a little bit, a bit here, I don't know. But it's uh, certainly looking better visually than it did. I'm, I'm nearly done, nearly ready for the big reveal to finish it off. I'm just waiting on some trees. So be patient. We're really, really nearly there. I put the coal and stage back where it originally was. But I've also built up a bit of coal underneath it, a nice bed underneath it, which you can drop onto, just because that raises a height nicely. I'm gonna build it a little bit higher still I think and I won't leave it resting on there because what I want is that it still looks okay without the buildings on so that's just gonna be built up a little bit higher um, because I'd, I'd removed the grey base off there because it looked awful and because I'd originally hoped to put it in here in the centre between the two lines however this one swings a bit on the side and keeps catching it so I'm just gonna have it there instead and build it up like originally planned. There you go, that's how it's looking now. I've also put some coal on the top of the stage. Scattered some on the track and some on the ballast offset. So it looks okay. Pleased with that. Put some more ballast down the back there, a pile of heap, whatever you want to call it. Same there, a little bit there as well. I'm filling in gaps. So using up the ballast and, and dressing the stage.